it's your RSX, the Member of Parliament here for York Centre, and we are continuing with our, uh, you know, interviews with our amazing women here in York Centre for International w Women's Day, or for us, we're calling it International Women's Week, so that we can have the time to spend with so many of our incredible women here in the community. And I'm really excited because today I have with me Eva Karpati, who's the past president of the National Council of Jewish Women of Canada Toronto section. And she's still an active board member with them. And I'm just so excited. You know, Eva, we've met so many times and interacted, but I'm really excited to have you here today. So welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me and us, so to speak. Yes, I'm, I'm excited to have you and National Council of Jewish Women of Canada here today. So tell us a little bit about it yourself. I know you're a member of our community, and, and but who is Eva Karpati in, in her day-to-day -day life and her work with the National Council? Well, uh, my day-to-day -day life is um, definitely tied into National Council of Jewish Women. It was a beautiful evolution of where I was in my life of uh, having the time and energy to truly give back and found a beautiful platform uh, from which to do that. Um, and it started quite a few years ago, actually with a project I started called the Toronto Jewish Quilting Project. And okay. 18 years ago, actually, we started by uh, making quilts for people touched by cancer. Wow! And we were we were in community centers, actually in York Center, in the York Center area. And uh, yes, and the um, like Earl Bales, but uh, the president then, uh, Debbie Wasserman, invited me as a project to be part of National Council. And it was a beautiful marriage, so to speak, of uh, giving back, which so aligned with what National Council was doing. And uh, we've been here since a part of National Council. And then my journey morphed into not just staying part of uh, of the quilting project, but in fact, taking on some leadership roles, which I was mm, kind of dragged into, but I'm so grateful because it certainly has allowed me to grow and to expand what we do. So just Amazing. A, a beautiful opportunity. So I see a beautiful quilt behind you um, in your backdrop. Is that one of the quilts uh, that became part of your project? I see, I see some interesting faces in each mm -hmm. of those squares. Yes, thanks for uh, thanks for noticing. Absolutely, this was one that was designed by one of uh, one of my amazing quilters, and it was so spectacular. I'm not sure if you can see the detail, but it it's actually called International Women, so appropriate Love for it. this week yes. and our, our our meeting today. And it's representing women from all over the world. And um, and to be perfectly frank, that's a huge part of why I joined National Council of Jewish Women, because I know the power of women. I know that uh, working collaboratively, so much can be done. And uh, we just need to be a rising example to the rest of the world. Um, Absolutely. Sorry, especially yeah. now of what women can do. So yes, Absolutely. this is so, so important to us, to me. And um and to the world. <laughs> Absolutely. And it's it's a beautiful quilt and, and and it shows so much about the diversity that we want to reflect, not just in our communities, but in the things that we create. And, um, you know, one of the things that blew me away when I first met you and, and heard about the work of National Council of Jewish Women Canada is really creating a forum for empowering a woman's voice. Um, and not and that not only for the people who are involved and our volunteers that they like you said are become empowered in their own work and advocating for others but that the programs that you do are really about empowering empowering voices as well and creating resiliency and creating um, bases of support so that so that women can feel elevated and supported in 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 the communities that they're in so um, not everyone necessarily knows what National Council of Jewish Women does in terms of their programs. And I mean, I know, but I, I'd love to, you know, walk through some of the key programs that have been going on and that you're a part of and what's coming up since we are heading into to April and, and the Passover season. 
Yes, yes. Well, our our history has been uh, such are that we actually start some programs and allow it to flourish and right. grow, and that we eventually pass it on to those who can take it forward. For example, one of our programs um, started in, uh, ooh, I believe the 50s and 60s was a seniors program. So that awareness that our seniors need socialization, need um, much more than, than was offered at the time. And that grew so large beyond uh, beyond a lunch and learn, and it eventually became the Bernard Battel Center. Wow, so we're very I did proud not know that. that. Yes, Amazing. yes, it, yes. Um, very proud of that, and uh, we are still connected with them. Um, we have we were instrumental in starting uh, in North York uh, kindergarten, um, but our our focus has morphed much more so into looking after women, vulnerable women. We've been doing human trafficking awareness uh, since 2013. And in fact, we are the first ones to declare in the city of Toronto, um, and it has now changed, but May 10th as Human Trafficking Awareness Day. So oh, John wow. Tory acknowledged that. So we did that in um, 2017. Now, I okay. do have to say, in the meantime, our work has continued. We are now looking at parents and educating parents about this, um, this horrible, horrible crime. And um, now we're together with national with the national in initiative to make and it. The day has changed, but nevertheless, we've played an important part in the awareness uh, about this crime happening right here in our city. Absolutely. And um, I was actually very involved in, in human trafficking issues when I lived in Israel in terms of uh, there was a wonderful organization that I was part of that had a task force on human trafficking. And um, the one thing that I knew then and, and know now is that it's happening right under our noses in our communities. And we don't know that there are women and girls who are suffering um, or, and, and that it, it, it's happening in the silent corners and that without awareness and education, um, we're not able to protect um, those around us who, who may become victims of it. Uh, you know, there's always this, this thought that it's coming from somewhere else or people are being brought in. And that's not always the case. These are crimes mm -hmm. that are happening um, in capturing vulnerable uh, young girls and women yes. in our own communities. Yes. So that and, is... And, yes, yeah, sorry. As a matter of fact, our, uh, our presentation is called Not In My Family. Right. Because that's um, exactly the perception that it's not happening here and it's out there, but it it is not out there. It's it is right here. But yes. So that's uh, that's one of our initiatives. And um, and we're always you know looking at it from uh, a woman's lens and um, and the, the Jewish lens that we come from is really just embracing tikkun olam, which is the repairing of the world. And, you know, that sense of um, it's up to us to do it when we recognize that something that, you know, women somewhere are suffering. We must all act if young people, the vulnerable and uh, we're we've been around since 1897. So it speaks to it's it speaks to what we're doing must be right. And we must absolutely be resonating somehow. So um, amazing. And it's a volunteer organization. Yeah. So very That's, proud of that. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, it's um, there's been a lot of talk um, this year amongst my female colleagues because it's 100 years since Agnes McPhail first entered the chamber and uh, with this this recent parliament, um, I was woman 100 um, yeah, in amazing, the last parliament amazing, um, uh -huh. and really proud as, as, a, as a woman and as a Jewish woman and as a single mother to to be that first hundredth woman to walk through the doors mm -hmm. of, of, of the house. And now we're at 103. And we have so much work to do, but, you know, uh, National Council of Jewish Women being around since 1897, like we've come we've come so far and we have so much more to do. Um, but it's, you know, what I love about 
what you're describing is it's these these core programs that get to the heart of, of, of communities, whether it's seniors and Bernard Battelle, or whether it's the human trafficking piece of, of making sure that um, there's action to elevate voices and, and that so much of what women are about and, and what we do, we, you know, as mothers or as sisters, aunts, um, we're always looking for a way to, to not just make sure that voices are heard, but that there's action associated with it that really makes the world better. And, and, you know, you really hit the nail on the head on that in describing the work that's been done and, and the vision. And it comes out so clearly, whether it's through the quilt or some of the programs you described. So April is coming up and, and National Council of Jewish Women does this every year, um, the Passover drive. So I'm going to ask you, how, how are we doing for the Passover drive this year? You know, food poverty is and food insecurity is very much front and center for so many families in the community. And, and I know uh, the Passover drive really addresses that head on. So like share with me what's happening, where you might need help if folks want to volunteer or contribute or donate. As we head into to Passover, I know Purim's not here yet, but we're already mm-hmm. making Pesach. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yes. Well, and especially for the Passover food drive, which um, uh, thank you for knowing about it and, and sh- wanting to share that. But um, we do address the needs of over 2,000 um, households who um, we provide with a box of just some basics to enable Passover to be celebrated with dignity. Uh, We put in some uh, crucial items. I do have to say that, and it's over 2000 of those many are seniors who are, and and this is all below the poverty line. And we work with our um, fellow organizations. We work with Jaius, we work with Jewish Family and Child, we work with the Bernard Battelle Bernard Center with Baycrest to get the client list to make sure we're, um, we're getting to the recipients who need them. So we're providing um, these necessities. I do have to say also this year, we, we, we quilted little pot holders to go oh, into wow. them. So there's, again, a gesture of caring and warmth and a personal touch in there uh, from us, from National Council. And this year, you know, every year in the past, families have come to help us pack and deliver. And unfortunately, given the situation, it's not happening this year that people are, are um coming to do that part. So our costs have increased because we've had to um, delegate that out to a logistics company. So the best way to participate truly this year is through donation to help us enable that to happen. Um, But those pot holders were a way for the community to participate because I had students creating them, quilters, families, friends. So it was another way to somehow participate in giving and showing love and caring. But that's, um, yeah, despite COVID, that's still happening and we're still able to do that. So we're really grateful to all those who have donated already and we continue to accept those donations okay well we'll make sure to put the donation in information into the bottom of this post i love the pot holders and that there was such a personal touch added mm-hmm. that really allows individuals to contribute in a really meaningful mm-hmm. way mm-hmm. Um, creating and also you know and and creating but also giving um Wow, you know, you're such a powerful voice in 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 it, there's there's a there's a sweet there's a certain sweetness that comes um, through um, when someone is both powerful but just clear and um, in in their intentions and and I know so much of the work that National Council of Jewish Women does and and you and and so many of the folks who have met on on different opportunities um, in the volunteer work. Um, you know, as we start to wrap up today's session, um, there's there's a there's a quiet power to to the work of the National Council of Jewish Women, and and I think it's harnessed by women like yourself. And you know, as as 
as a woman in the community myself, what would you want uh, younger women who are kind of coming into their own in the community to know about the power of this work or, or why it's, why they should be volunteering um, or considering doing, doing worth work with the national council, like what, what it gives them and what does it give the community? Well, as you've said, Yar, is that it's, um, it's, that we become a vehicle for action. And I think that's, that's what empowers us when, especially when the world around us is, can be crazy and we feel helpless, that it's taking action and doing that count and that does empower us. So I would love to, to just say anyone um, out there that has a cause and has a, an, you know, an inkling of, I, of an idea because all of this has just come from that inkling of an idea that women support each other and we make it happen. And uh, I would say um, for anyone out there <laughs> that, that wants a platform, please come knocking in our door. We open our door, especially now we can open our doors. Um, and I, I think that that's our strength is that we're here to enable women, people to help each other. Yes. That, you know, this is a platform for being lifted up and carry those ideas forward. And, yeah. um, and I love that. Again, the most powerful thing that we as women can do and continue to do for each other. From 1897 until now, um, you guys are lighting the spark in women to help others, women, you know, that's the power of the spark is you, you just, it's, it's power is, is infinite as long as we keep it going. So um, you're such an inspiration to me and to many, many women in our community. Um, I, I so appreciate you and, and the work of the National Council of Jewish Women Canada. Um, I want to thank you and celebrate you this International Women's Day and Women's Week. And I'm excited for what we hear from you next and from, from the work that we can do. So for all of you who might want to get involved and, and be a part of an amazing group of women who are really um, changing the world step by step, light by light, day by day. Um, find Eva and the National Council of Jewish Women. There'll be info in the post below. And uh, thank you so much for your time today. Great to see you. Thank you, Yar, and wonderful work you are doing as well. So thank oh, you thank for you. the opportunity. Absolutely. Women make the world go round. We really Absolutely. do. Amazing. Absolutely. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Have a great day. Eva, thank you again. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.